Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now Baby I took a half and she took the whole thing and slowed down This is what our building is looking like. Oh, I thought it was only three floors. I guess it's four for all of them. Okay. That's cool. I guess dorm. Thank you. Oh, that's refreshing. Huh. So coming in, every building has a garage that is gated. This is a gated community, so that's an additional gate that the garage has spots for all this building yeah and then your mailbox as soon as you come in and then they have an elevator and then of course your staircase which i really like it just gives that i'm in the uk <laughs> i like the marble it's very cute or the towel i should say it's very cute Ooh. fancy carpeted elevator Pretty old though. And we always have this thing where we check to see that the license is up to date for elevators we step on to. This is what we're touring. And of course, I want to hear the doorbell. Ready? Huh. All right, so we are touring a two bed, two bath. So let's get right into it. This one is staged, which I always love because I need to envision where I'm living. So the more it's staged, the more I can see a home put together, the more it makes sense for me. So let's get into it. Again, I love this beautiful towel on the floor. I like that you can have a mini desk or something. They put a mirror, I would probably put a mirror too. The main light, which turned on this light right above the main door and then the hallway lights. Turning right around, this should be the washer and dryer. Not even, coat closet. I forgot washer and dryers in the kitchen, I think. All right, and then this would be where your dining room is. I kind of like this interesting setup. You usually don't see dining rooms set up like this. So very interesting. I also love the blue pop of color. Turning right around, you are in the kitchen. You get an island with the two bed, two bath apartments here. I like that you have space for some nice comfy bars, um, bar stools. And then I love that they have little cute clay pots here yes additional storage down here for whatever you may need to store down and then of course this is your living room everything is compact i don't like that as much but gotta make do with the space you have coming right over the kitchen is spacious i love that you already know it is deep under here i love it <laughs> Pretty spacious. Long, deep jars, and then of course this should just be aesthetic. Um, and the sink is pretty deep too. Not complaining. Y'all know how I feel about water pressure. You can pull it out too, so cool. What? It is a newer dishwasher though. Like ours looks older than this one. What don't you like though? Right here instead of down being so flat, so it's taking up space. Yeah. yeah, put the soap there. Awesome, yeah, and then more space, more cabinet space. You guys know how I feel about cabinet space the more, the merrier. Oh, there's lights underneath, too. Is it? Are there? Ah! I'm a sucker for lights underneath the cabinet. I grew up with it. And it is a vibe. I don't gotta go to Amazon to fulfill this. <laughs> I love it. Adorable, cute. All right, let's get into it really quickly. You guys all know we just like to check our spaces, see how big everything is, how deep it is. I love flat top stoves. I grew up with having this in my home. Um, adore them, amazing. And then pretty deep, not complaining. What's interesting is the fridge is all the way over here. <laughs> so kind of in the hallway, but whatever. And then we have two 
Decker doors over here, which is the washer and dryer and modern. And they look huge. Ah, I can never open them on the other side. They look huge. Oh, look at the blue, babe. Wow, yeah, they're big. And you guys know how I feel. I love a laundry space where I can put all my cleaning detergents and everything else in a space. So amazing, love it. I would have to squish my broom and stuff somewhere. All right, and I guess since I'm already on this side, we're gonna venture off into the first bedroom that this home has to offer. So get a single sink, huge mirror though. And then again, they have a lot of good cabinet space here. I'm in love with that. Oh, look guys. Wow. Hello. Amazing. Oh, I love it guys. Okay. Sorry. Back to our bedroom. I know I said this is what we're going to do. Let's do a long peep. That's what it looks like coming in the door. So I love that it's a separate door for the bathroom. Super important, of course. And this is just a shower. That's okay. That kind of a vibe. You can like have a seat in your shower. Okay. I'm not knocking it. <laughs> All right. Cool. And then the cabinets are super high. I don't know who they think is so tall. But again, this place is beautiful for a lot of cabinet space. And that's phenomenal. And then our toilet. A little low, you know, but ain't horrible. Okay. And then, what? you know what this reminds me of, you guys? Have you guys seen people having those seat, not seat, those towel warmers? It's giving towel warmer. It's giving towel warmer, even though I know it's just decoration. Okay. Yeah, coming on in now to the closet. Let me see if I can pop some lights on for you guys. Okay. Cool. Which, I mean, going on Amazon or anything, you can kind of fill this up with other things to fulfill, um, to fill the space for what you need. Oh, and then they have pre-racked some stuff for us over here. Yeah, they put extra racks in for us. Cool. And I guess they were like, y'all can use your imagination for the one on the floor, but that's kind of cool. Right. You have your own light. Oh, your own light, your own light and mirror coming out of the closet. Love that. Coming into the bedroom, it is pretty spacious. I love the natural light right there. And then if you wanted to hang a TV or whatever you felt, you can. So yeah, I kind of like that. The bedroom seems really, really spacious. Looking all the way down, that is our sink. And then our closet to the left, we have a mirror to the right. And then again, further down to the left, that's where our bathroom stall is and the shower and then your main door. It's a vibe. Pop off these lights because I try to be mindful. I try to be very mindful. Still bills that gotta get paid, you know? Ain't my bill, but somebody bill. All right. And again, coming out this first bedroom, this is what we're seeing. So a little bit of the kitchen, the dining room, the living room. It looks very homey. All right, let's walk over. Should be very similar to what we just saw for the second bedroom. So I guess they don't really have a master. Um, just because for the master, I would imagine a his and her sink. Of course, um, it looks about the same. Still got the same toilet, cabinet space above. Oh, this is the difference. This room has a bathtub. Other one didn't, but you could like sit down in the shower, which is interesting. The door too? The door is different. The bath, oh, and the bathroom door is different. He's not lying. Okay, key details, husband. All right. Oh, breaker box is in the main bedroom. And then I'm assuming the closet, pop on some lights, you know. Assuming the closet is the same deal, right? Yeah. And then again, if you have vision, Amazon, you can make this space the best thing in the world, so. Not tripping. Again, I love that they all have their own mirrors already placed as soon as you come out the closet. And still beautiful lighting and a pretty spacious room. Wow, that's kind of nice, guys. Like somebody already laid on the bed. They felt really at home. What I do want to do with you guys is... Oh! 
Oh my gosh. You know what? That's why you don't touch stuff. That's why you don't touch stuff. It's like a kid, you know? It's like a kid. My gosh. I just wanted to see how wide the window opens. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, okay. Not working? No. That should be unlocked. All right. A pretty wide window. Just want to see how much air this place gets because I love to air out my house. Oh, and then I guess that's, oh, Amazon, right? Yeah. Amazon hub right there behind the building. Cool. We're surrounded by lagoons in this city, so you can see one of the lagoons and then the mini bridge they have. Cool. Lawrence coming back out the room. This is the other angle you would see to see the kitchen, dining room, and living room space. We are about to go check out the amenities. Let's go. So I love that this place has a hub for bigger packages. However, this one could not fit and that is huge for me. I do not want my packages to get mistaken for someone else's or even stolen. To finish off this tour, we wanted to check out the pool, the gym, and the community center. So straight ahead, that is the pool. I did not want to go in since people were relaxing. It is enclosed by a glass ceiling, or it should be plastic hopefully, but that's really cool. We are now entering into the gym. You can access the pool from here and they have two bathrooms we are passing up now. This is the cardio room and to the left, you can get a spa and they have weights over there. People were there, so I was letting them do their thing. So let's go ahead, check out the bathroom. So super duper duper clean and spacious. I really adore this bathroom. And then they have a water station for you as well. Leaving right on out, directly across is the community room. I like a work area. That's what I was looking for too. All right, oh, board games. That's cool. I don't know what's in here. I don't know if we can open oh, this. Is it? Oh, I don't think it is. It is a sauna. Oh, is it? Yeah. But look guys, so you have your own sink, cabinets if you needed to, stove and everything. You sure that's a sauna? Because mm -hmm. that's cool if it is a sauna right there. Does the key, did the key work to get in here? I'll try. One of them has to, right? And I have you guys come steal our games. Who do you think you are? All right, well, we'll just peep in. So, have some games right there. Move to the other side for you guys. Oh, they have a barbecue pit too. In the corner right there. Yeah, but I don't know if it's unlocked. Okay, but I don't know if that's going to unlock. I like the place a lot. It felt really homey to me. And honestly, since I do film on YouTube and stuff, I could see myself filming there and everything too. Guys, this is like a double gated community in a sense because you go through an initial gate, which we're doing now, and then your building has its own gate as well. Is that Virgin America? So my pros was it felt really, really homey. I love that it's a gated community. And like I said, double gated, if you will. So for this place, every building has its own parking structure underneath it and you pass a second gate to get into it one car per home and then going through like this initial gate right here to get into the duplex all together you can pay an extra fee for another car but i like that it's just 25 dollars per car because san francisco and a lot of other places are what 350 400 and up per car crazy Wow, um, if we moved here, we'd be getting a one bed, one bath, so we would cut in half what we saw. But again, I love that the amenities, everything in the place looked new, up to date. It was super spacious. I love the closet space because we can still do something with that space. It's big enough for that. 
and then my con is it is a dog park across like across the lagoon and so depending on what side you're on of course they're playing and having fun you're probably going to hear them barking throughout the whole day so i think that's the only my only con right now but i think that's it y'all it was very beautiful coming to see this place yeah so we're gonna continue on the rest of our day this was the first place we checked out because we're debating what we're doing as our lease comes so close where we are so it was really cool just to come and see what marlin marlin cove looks like Come true. And I wonder, 16 missed calls.